So if you're like me, whenever you took your undergraduate um, first like semester of actually learning biology, you kind of came to the conclusion that life is really weird and it's really, really difficult to understand um, even the most simplistic concepts such as the process of natural selection. It's to really understand how we went from being um, single-celled organisms to reaching this point that we're at, from, you know, from the dinosaurs to us, essentially. That's so crazy and difficult to, to comprehend, J just that alone. And I think the reason that it's so crazy and difficult for us to comprehend is because there's not the most clear agreement among scientists about the mechanisms of natural selection. Okay, yes, we, we clearly agree that it happens through through random mutation. Random mutation has a role in it, um, but in you know terms of Lynn Margulis, it's never enough, right? So there's an interview of her where she talks about saying. If you take a Drosophila and you mutagenize it, you get a sick Drosophila. You don't get a new species of Drosophila. And so going into this, reading this book, I didn't really have a thorough understanding about, one, life, but two, really the, 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 the mechanisms and energetics of natural selection. Uh, and that's what this book really does an amazing job, is about endosymbiotic theory. And it is the most, honestly, I don't know why I had this huge obsession with... Uh, provocative authors and provocative books that this was just blows it out of the water. So for how she presents her ideas, each chapter um, has, a, has, a, has a thing. And I feel like I shouldn't, I, I'm neglecting Dorian Sagan here for a second. It was written by both Lynn Margulis and her son, Dorian Sagan. But the way that they wrote it was each chapter has the central idea that it revolves around. And then there's little like subcategories of each chapter, little like fonts and, and little essays about each and every one of those things that pertains to the overall idea of the chapter. And for me, it's almost like reading a concept map, um, which is something I'm a huge fan of pedagogically speaking. So I really like that. Um, and the way that she formats it is it's pretty smooth. I've never had any difficulty really with, with tracing the thoughts from one point to the next. It is, in terms of just like the diction, very taxing. It was taxing for me at least. I'm not a captain badass. There were times whenever I would read something and I would have to stop and then like reread it and really think about what she was saying and really have to to try to understand the points that she was making. But I mean, I think just Lynn Margulis and Dorian Sagan, they just did an amazing job of writing this. This was one of the best. And I, I don't like uh, evolutionary biology that much, but this was, oh man, it, it melded so much together. So for like the pros... The pros are that this is a book that successfully casts a huge net, right? I'm a cell guy. I like cells. I like molecular biology. That appealed to me, but at the same time, she, you know, does a very good job of explaining how everything is connected and how biology is about that, about how life is connected, about how organisms are connected and, and playing a role in the ecology, not just of human beings, but of cells themselves and of, you know, planet Earth, right? So there is a part where she does talk about her... A connection to the Gaia hypothesis, but that's not the, the main point that I'm making is that it does such a good job of promoting a frame of thought that is kind of considered controversial, right? And and just, I, I love it because it encourages you to, to really stop and think, not just about mechanisms and not just about what does what and how this does what, but really how everything is connected from one another and, and what are the pros and cons of this and how did we really reach this point um, uh, of being a life where it's at. The only con that I have of it is that at a certain point it does seem like they kind of just uh, got a little sidetracked almost. Like there are parts where she starts talking about like the second law of thermodynamics. Um, she really goes into ecology a lot, which I'm not really a fan of that too much. Um, but it was, I mean, the, the cons that people would normally say about it is that there's not enough genetic evidence for uh, acquiring genomes, for gene transfer between uh, microorganisms. I mean, obviously, yes, the mitochondria, but she goes so far as to say, like, you know, the rods and cones in your eye. And the, I don't have a problem with that, though, because she shows that it doesn't necessarily have to be a genetic exchange. It can be to where there's, there's various, you know, degrees and levels of it. So she does a really good job of kind of shutting up her critics in the first few chapters of the book. She always has her sources cited. She's an amazing scientist and arguably, in my opinion, should have won a Nobel Prize at some point in her life. And she shouldn't have died as young as she did. It sucks. 
Her sources are always well cited. It's all there. It's nothing about it that was bad. So I give an overall score of 8 out of 10. This would have been very easily a 10 out of 10. I just don't like ecology that much. I understand the validity and need of it, but she just kind of talked a little bit too much about that to keep me, I guess, engaged and keep me in check about it. But at the end of the day, this is an amazing book. This is a book that really will change the way you think about natural selection. This will change the way you think about biology at every single level, from the cells to the organisms to the tissues, everything. It changes the way that you look at it, and that is the most... Uh, consciousness expanding thing I've ever had and it's such a I, I love books like this there's not enough books out there like this that really just stimulate you and make you look at the same thing that you've seen a hundred times but you will look at it in a completely different light I